How y'all doing, baby? It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's a bright, shiny day down here in South Texas, like it has been for a while, and it's going to be sick. Ah, 102 today. Boy, howdy shit. Pushing the limit down here. Anyway, I hope you're having a fine day. I hope the sun is shining in your heart, if nothing else. Anyway, what's going on? Well, I watched the morning talk shows this morning. You know, the news shows get up there. I seen old Mike Pence this morning. I think it was Dana Bash being interviewed. And she was trying to peg Mike Boy down on well, what are you going to do, Mike? Because, you know, look here. Uh, Donnie incited the riots on uh, on January 6th, and, you know, he, he's under indictment twice already, looking for the third one this week. And uh, how do you support him? And every answer Mike Pence got gave started with, well, Dana, I just don't know if this, that, the other. Are you shitting me, Mike? The only reason you're still kicking is because Donnie boy called off the mob that day. You're lucky, buddy, but I will give him credit. He went back into the Senate, and he did his job, and Joe Biden was elected. But that wasn't enough for Donnie Boy, and it still ain't. He, you know, uh, Mike was presented with all sorts of scenarios there of why he keeps doing this shit. You know, Donnie Boy was on the talk shows uh, on right-wing radio last week talking about how dangerous it would be for him to be indicted and arrested. Are you shitting me? He's saying... Oh, he's got some very passionate supporters, even more passionate when they were on, and on January 6th, even more passionate. It's dangerous. What do you think that is, baby? That's a threat. That's what that is. He's letting the world know that his little minions are ready to go to war for him, baby. Well, they might be. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they're a little smarter than that, but no, some of them, a certain percentage of them are going to listen to his ass. And that's why we have to worry about that shit. Because you never know what Bubba down the street's going to do. And uh, and a lot of them, a lot of them follow this man like he's a god. And, uh, you know, I, it, 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 if you look at the numbers, really, if you look at the numbers, he's got like 43%, I think, of the Republican vote right now. And all the rest of them, all the way down to the bottom, Mike Pence, yeah, uh, uh, are splitting the rest of it. Uh, and you think to yourself, well, he's a big leader in the Republican Party, A, the Republican Party is not as large as it used to be. Got a little smaller after January 6th, you know? People got a little disillusioned there with the bullshit coming out of Donnie's mouth. And they left. And it boiled down. It reduced itself to what we have now in the Republican Party, which in my opinion is nothing but a bunch of radical, racist, misogynistic assholes. They just are, are, are bitter, baby. They ain't going to turn loose of Donnie. I see it in the comments on my my shit all the time defending him. Are you shitting me? Come on, man. There ain't nothing there to defend. So while we all wait for the next indictment, which should be coming this week, baby, should be some big ones in there. Conspiracy should be involved. And, you know, that takes more than one person. So, yeah, there's a long list. Mark Meadows, a, a whole bunch of people over there on that side that just need to be just a little worried, I would think. But we're all going to see it this week, probably coming up more. There's going to be more cases out of Georgia. They're trying to stop it, but they ain't going to. And it's all going to come out. But as long as we have Republicans sitting there wishy-washy, wondering, oh, gee, I don't know if it rises to the level of, uh, of criminal prosecution. Are you shitting me? Go back and take the rerun there, uh, Mike, and, and the rest of them idiots. Go look at what happened at January 6th and tell me you can justify that shit in any way. You can't, baby. Anyway, uh, a lot to take in, a lot to keep cons considering, you know. We we have to stay informed and, and stay knowledgeable about that shit. Anyway, we're going to be live tonight uh, on the Blue Dot Family Meeting on YouTube and on Facebook, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We do it every week, and uh, we'll talk about this, that, the other subjects, and uh, have a good time. So anyway, y'all come by and join us. We'll see you later. Bye.